So, we are in Australia in the city of Sydney. The coolest city in the world. Everything they say about Sydney is true. The main symbol is the Sydney Opera House, known all over the world. And here is the world's most famous light show Vivid Sydney. Sydney is a city of freedom, freedom of conscience, a city of great opportunities, where one in three is an immigrant. From all over the world people want to see this city. More than 10 million people come to this city every year, so subscribe to the channel and like. Leave a comment what did you like most in Sydney and would you like to visit Sydney? Sydney is Australia's largest and largest old city at 12,000 square kilometers, the population of which is 5 million people. Sydney is a consequence of the New South Parish. The city was founded in 1788 by Arthur Phillip, who arrived here at the head of the first fleet, and was the location of the first colonial European settlement in Australia. The city was named by the colonists in honor of Lord Sydney, who at that time was the minister of the British colonies. Sydney is a great place to live permanently. Sydney is a sunny city with over 300 sunny days a year. The rating of the best places for life and tourism is opened by the largest city in Australia. It is twice the size of New York City. It is the oldest settlement on the continent. It was the site of the first colonial settlement of Europeans. This is one of the most attractive and comfortable places in the world. Sydney has repeatedly received the title of the most beautiful city in the world. It is located on the southeast coast of Australia. The metropolis with modern architecture is bordered by magnificent beaches with palm trees and golden sand. The subtropical climate creates a pleasant atmosphere for staying. The air temperature varies from plus 17, July, to plus 26, January, degrees. It is warm here all year round, which is a big plus for tourists and locals. Sydney is a metropolis where 20% of the population of the continent is concentrated. There are a large number of foreigners here, which contributes to the creation of a friendly atmosphere. Sydney is the cultural center of Australia, where many attractions are located. The unusual building of the Sydney Opera House has become a symbol of this city. It can be called a masterpiece of modern architecture. The richness of flora and fauna is amazing. In the vicinity of Sydney there are, a botanical garden, an aquarium, a reserve where animals are in their natural environment. Vivid Sydney, Amazing Show From 26 May to 17th of June, Vivid Sydney will fuse art, innovation and technology in collaboration with some of the most boundary-pushing artists, thinkers, musicians and culinary experts of our time. Under the creative direction of Vivid Sydney, naturally, this year's festival shines a new light on the city and ourselves. Invigorating the city of Sydney with awe-inspiring art installations and 3D light projections, Vivid Light transforms our urban environment into a kaleidoscopic wonderland. Vivid Sydney's Free Light Walk is a massive 8.5 km adventure covering spanning Circular Quay, The Rocks, Bar Angaroo, Darling Harbour, The Goods Line, and Central Station. See the city anew with more than 60 light attractions by standout local and international artists. Vivid Sydney has been recognized by the International Festivals and Events Association IFEA, and won 14 medals at the 2022 IFA Pinnacle Awards. Vivid Sydney was also voted Australia's Best Tourism Event in 2013, 2014, 2015, 
2017, 2018 and 2019 and Best Cultural, Arts or Music Event in 2017 and 2019 in the Australian Event Awards. Guys, we are now at Bondi Beach, where I saw fur seals and whales today. Bondi Beach with white sand in the shape of a crescent is one of the most famous beaches in Australia. Reliable waves attract surfers, and hardened locals swim year-round in the nearby Iceberg's ocean pool. Fashionable, health-conscious Sydney-siders head to the cozy cafes around Hall Street, while stylish tourists frequent the simple local pubs. Walkers and joggers enjoy the scenic clifftop coastal path from Bondi Beach to Coogee Beach. For people who love nature, Welcome to Royal Botanic Garden. Something that in other cities is strictly forbidden to do in the Botanical Garden. Free Sydney can and even should be done. The Botanical Garden is encouraged to talk to the birds, walk on the lawn, hug the trees and smell the flowers. The gardens cover an area of 30 hectares. The Royal Botanic Garden Sydney is located near the city's central business district, surrounded by other attractions of the city. Sydney is a clean, beautiful, pleasant city. There are many skyscrapers in the center. The city authorities allocated vast territories for parks and gardens. Therefore, urban residents do not have problems where to get out into nature. They live and work surrounded by green lawns, tropical plants and exotic birds. now climbing with you to the highest observation deck Sydney Tower I. For the very first time Lightscape is coming to the Royal Botanic Garden Sydney. This internationally acclaimed multi-sensory experience of light, color and sound is set to wow visitors. Originally created more than a decade ago, it has become an international sensation, selling out at other sites all over the world. Lightscape has been developed to enhance the appreciation of botanic gardens and their important scientific and horticultural collections in the new light.
Guys, we visited the interesting city of Sydney and now you know what to see here and when to come. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a like. Write your comment below the video, what did you like the most in Sydney? Thank you for watching. See you in the next issue.